In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a test and how to set up the test options. So, back into my sandbox here, if I go down to Control Panel, expand that out, click on Test Surveys and Pools, and then on Tests, you will see that the test that I created in the last video, Ancient Civilizations, is in the test area. Now, in this is where your tests actually reside in Blackboard and it tells you if they've been deployed or not. So you can see that I have some that are deployed under quizzes and some that aren't. So to deploy this all I'm going to really do is create a link. If you delete it from this area here, the test area, then you delete the test permanently. But if you delete a link that it's been deployed to, then you still have your test in there and I'll show you what that means in just a minute here. So I'm going to go up into my content area under quizzes and I'm going to go over to assessments and test and I am in edit mode as you can see in the top right hand corner and click on test and it will show me the tests that have not been deployed yet and of course that ancient civilizations is the one that I created so I'm going to submit that I could go in here and give more directions again I'm going to leave open in a new window to no. If you turn it to yes, sometimes students have a problem if they have a pop-up blocker it stops them. So in this case, uh, open in a new window stays at no. I am going to choose yes for making the link available. Now remember we're creating a link in a content area. Then announcements, not this time multiple attempts. I'm going to leave that empty so that means they won't have multiple attempts but you could give them those if you wish. Force completion I am going to click. That means that once they start the test they have to finish it in one sitting. If they leave it or get knocked out of it then they can't get back in. So you can undo that or or click it however you want. If your students have a problem and get bumped out by accident you could undo that and let them back in. However it lets all of them. It's not just for one. You can set the timer, um, pick the hour and minutes. You can set it to automatically shut off if you want, or if they go over, if you don't select the auto submit, if you leave, but you select the timer, if they go over, then it lets you know in the gradebook it puts in an exclamation mark and tells you how many minutes or seconds they went over. Then you can set, if you want to, a date and time. If you don't want to set a date and time for the link to appear, you could also use a password and that's good for face-to-face. -face. Um, when I taught face-to-face -face, I password protect them when we went into a lab then I wrote the password on the board and that way my students could then get into it but not get into it ahead of time. Due dates I would leave that empty. This one area under number four I caution you not to change anything in this. If you pick hide results for this test from the instructor you will not be able to see it so leave that one alone. Um, test feedback. Do you want your students to see the score? Yes, when they're done. Submit uh, the answers they submitted, that's up to you. Correct answers and feedback. Usually I pick score and then submitted answers, but you can do whatever however much information you want them to have afterwards. Test presentation. I choose all at once and then I have them save every 10 minutes if it's a fairly long test. If you're doing 50 to 100 questions then you need to give them directions in there to go down to the bottom and single click save every 10 minutes. It's like Word. If something happened they would lose back to where they last saved. The problem I have with one at a time it does save each question as they click through but they can't scroll back and if there's any technical problems then that is a problem so I really don't care for one at a time. I don't mess with a prohibit backtracking because I let them all at once. Randomized questions means, and this is very good for if you're again um, giving a test in a lab with a face to face class, I would check randomized questions because it takes those questions and scrambles them around. So they would all get the same questions but they would be scrambled. And then I would go ahead and click submit. And there's my test set up down here and that's the link to it. Now again this is the link so if I delete this at some point I still have my test. So It's just you do not delete out of your test surveys and pools. This is a link to the tests that are residing under test